for the Ospreys win the opening tip as FSU gets their season started. Both Florida has already played three times. They have lost all three games. The Eastern Kentucky, NC State, and to Miami in a turnover and a per game. A little bit of an injury apparently not long before the start of this game. He was a late scratch. It's in the head coach. A busser attempting the first long range shot. The Ospreys certainly here. It's aggressive. 11 12 players playing double digit minutes and they have great balance on the off going 22 and 0 down the stretch last season. That just gives you a little bit of an idea how good they were last season. They held opponents to 66 points. They had 10 guys who played at least 10 minutes per game. So in many ways, Deb, it was a very typical Leonard Hamilton shots. They were the second best shot blocking team in the ACC last year. First in steals. And everyone's on the same page, right? They, they communicate. They do a great job of rotating. They understand help. They don't over help. And switching keeps you from over helping. No total scoreless over the last three minutes. Team in the country, there were several NCAA tournament simulations that had FSU not only going to the Final Four, but winning the whole thing. Already had eight players, by the way, who have scored in this game. 19 7 Florida State. They do end, will give it up into the corner, long range, but not there by Burkhardt, who's one of their better three-point guys. Comes in averaging about eight points per game. Again, if they're going to contend, but they've had really good luck at the point. Well, they certainly have been one of the top programs in that league for the last seven years. Up top here is Barnes. He has three assists. Good trap on the baseline. And right into the run out. And Polite can't connect with the reigning ACC Coach of the Year. By the way, has another great recruiting class coming in. Mark will swing Seems it. Like Barnes looking into the corner. Good fella. Good vision on that occasion. I'd say it was a lot of fun. The excitement factor of his ability to handle with size and to see and make a move like this right here to get into the paint. Really good communication on the defensive end. See those long closeouts to run them off the three-point line. This is one of the things that you wonder about a, a new team in your first game, Dave. Can you follow the scout? I mean, this, the key is to not let North Florida get... Squaring off against Duke. That's our ACC Network primetime matchup presented by Geico. Hope you will tune in. For a very busy day. Tell you, Dave Dorn has done a fantastic job at NC State, right? It's very exciting around the Wolfpack right now, around what they've been able to do. And De'Aaron King is one of my favorite players in the ACC to watch. Well, season over was against Gardner Webb, but that was postponed because of COVID. So a late start for Leonard Hamilton's team this season. Let's try to slam on the brakes. Again, the long distance shots will not go down. They're trying to get a little in the first half of the Seminoles that played pretty clean basketball. Foster on a drive, but a whisk. Well, under a minute before the break. Point guard trying to get in close and tough defense once again shut him down. Quincy Ballard getting in the mix. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You overpenetrate into that size, and Florida State is going to block your, the shot into the transition game. Well, under a minute before the break. Point guard trying to get in close and tough defense. Once again, shut him down. Quincy Ballard getting in the mix. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You overpenetrate into that size, and Florida State is going to block your, the shot into the transition game. Foster on target again, so all of a sudden he has a hot hand for the Ospreys to make it 34 to 21. So a little bit of life here at the tail end of the half for North Florida, playing without their best player and Carter Hendrickson. Barnes backed it in, and he gets the basket. 
taking advantage of his 6'9 size to drop in two. I think Coach Hamilton's going to love the defense, but I think he's going to be disappointed in the eight turnovers in the first half. Basketball, and they're playing without their number one guy, Carter Hendrickson, 6'7 junior. He's a late scratch just a, well, a couple hours before the game because of an injury and cannot be on the sidelines, cannot be there on the bench because of COVID protocol. So he's having to watch from the stands here tonight. So Florida State with the basketball as we get underway here in the second half. Barnes giving it up here for Gray. And a lot of iron. They switch sides of the floor three times. They get a wide open look. And then look at Barnes from the weak side using that 6-9 frame. Looking for the and you know, Florida State didn't have anyone in the top 20 returning in the in scoring or rebounding or assists coming back from the ACC, yet they were picked to finish third. He made 44 threes last year, did MJ Walker. Well, the Ospreys have to watch the clock down to three. Over, and here come the Seminoles again, up 39 to 21. Barnes will pull up, he won't fire it. Going inside, mailing that one. The second one won't go. The effort by Adeduyen. And here's Barnes on a run. Feed from the rookie. So the Seminoles opening up a 42 to 21 lead. And again, playing tough defense. Watch the advance pass up the floor, and then Scotty Barnes makes a really nice decision here. The trail by Gray State. And uh, even though they've played other teams in the ACC, NC State and, and Miami, Florida State brings a different level of defense. Well, and a whole lot more of that. That's really the Ospreys game. They led the country last year with 391. Th Burkhardt flipping it inside. NC State and Clemson. I think they're both going to be really improved. I think Miami's going to be improved as well. I got to look myself at NC State recently. As Barnes in tight, but it won't drop for him. The Duyen trying to take it into the paint and kick it out. Burke. Jack lets fly. Not there for him. Yep, Barnes. Your player in front. Well, North Florida playing a much, much better second half. Nice pass inside, but a rejection and a foul. Florida State's got to do a better job of finishing the possession with a rebound because there's been a couple of kickouts uh, off the offensive rebounds for threes. And they do end down the lane. Can't finish. Harassed is Barnes. Oh, is that pretty? And a slam. Forward two with the talents of that young man. FSU on top, 60 to 47. North Florida has been lighting it up from beyond the three-point line. Put some pressure on them. Barnes on the low block and got it to go, and he'll go to the line too. Yeah, I think we've seen a very small sample of what's ahead. I mean, Leonard Hamilton moves him down to the block now, inverts him to the dunker spot. He gets inside the short corner and goes against.